A panel of experts at the Universal Peace Federation has now issued a warning on the growing threat of EMP or electromagnetic pulse weapons. Cars could be paralyzed, airplanes could fall from the sky, and power would vanish in a flash. What if suddenly the United States lost all electricity because of an EMP? It would cause terrible damage to our power grid and infrastructure. But the scariest part wouldn't be that. It would be how people react. Everyone would be confused, scared, and desperate, and everything would descend into chaos. To keep ourselves safe and not contribute to the chaos, it's essential to prepare beforehand. Let's talk about some things you must do immediately if an EMP happens. Number one, check if the EMP occurs. Let's say, for instance, you're at home enjoying a peaceful evening with your family. Suddenly the lights flicker and go out, enveloping your house in darkness. Your immediate reaction is grabbing your phone to check if it's just your home or the entire neighborhood is affected. But as you look at your phone, you realize it's completely dead. No power, no signal, nothing. At that moment, a chilling thought crosses your mind. Could this be an electromagnetic pulse attack? An EMP is a burst of electromagnetic energy that can disrupt, damage, or even destroy electronic devices and power grids across a wide area. In the context of the United States, an EMP might occur due to a high-altitude nuclear explosion or a powerful solar flare. While it might sound like a plot from a science fiction movie, the reality is much more severe and concerning. The United States relies heavily on electronic systems. According to the U.S. Department of Energy, 80% of the country's power grid is owned by private companies and was mostly built in the 1950s and 60s. This old infrastructure is at risk from EMPs, Today's society depends greatly on electronic devices and interconnected networks, which means an EMP attack could have devastating consequences. In 2019, the U.S. Commission to Assess the Threat to the United States from Electromagnetic Pulse Attacks warned that a successful EMP attack could cause nationwide power blackouts lasting for months or even years. This wouldn't affect homes like yours and disrupt crucial services such as water supply, healthcare, and transportation. Hospitals wouldn't be able to use important medical equipment, water treatment plants would stop working, and food storage and production would be severely disrupted without electricity. The numbers paint a dire picture. The North American Electric Reliability Corporation predicts that a massive power outage could cost the U.S. economy as much as $1 trillion. But beyond the financial impact, the human toll would be catastrophic. According to the EMP Commission, if there were a nationwide blackout within a year, up to 90% of the U.S. population could perish due to hunger, illness, and societal breakdown. This isn't an exaggeration. In 1962, the U.S. conducted a high-altitude nuclear test called Starfish Prime over the Pacific Ocean. The resulting EMP knocked out streetlights and disrupted communications in Hawaii, nearly 900 miles from the test site. This was just a small-scale demonstration compared to the potential devastation of a full-scale attack on the U.S. mainland. Number two, stay as calm as you can. The next crucial step is to remain as calm as you can. This is incredibly important, especially in a situation as potentially devastating as an EMP attack. Many people in the United States are unfamiliar with the concept of an EMP, and its immediate effects can be extremely disorienting. Imagine waking up one morning to find your car won't start, your phone is dead, and every electronic device around you is completely useless. This is the harsh reality of an EMP event, and the resulting chaos is something most of us are not prepared to handle. Now let's consider the facts. According to a report from the Congressional EMP Commission, a high-altitude EMP attack has the potential to destroy the entire electrical grid across the continental United States. This wouldn't be a brief blackout. We could face a situation where power remains out for months, if not longer. The North American Electric Reliability Corporation, NEARC, has estimated that a significant EMP incident could leave more than 130 million Americans without electricity. This goes beyond mere inconvenience. It means no refrigeration, no water pumping, no heating or cooling, and no means of communication. Number three, quickly find a safe place. The next step to take is to find a safe place without delay. This might seem straightforward advice, but it's vital for survival. Many guides and videos stress the importance of reaching home as quickly as possible, and they're right. For most people, home is where they keep the majority of their supplies. Even if you don't plan to stay there long term, you'll likely need to stop by to gather essential items if the situation deteriorates significantly. The home is typically the designated meeting point for family members during emergencies, making it a crucial first stop. However, there's a darker side to consider, 
an EMP could potentially precede a nearby nuclear explosion or even multiple nuclear strikes. This isn't just speculation. An EMP can disable a nation's ability to respond effectively, increasing the risk of devastating subsequent attacks. In such a scenario, being caught outside could be extremely dangerous. If you happen to be in a major city or near a military installation, when an EMP occurs, the risk escalates significantly. The threat of nuclear fallout becomes a harsh reality, necessitating immediate action. Taking shelter temporarily becomes a viable option in the wake of an EMP, albeit only temporarily. Look for lower levels of buildings or parking garages. These structures offer some protection due to their reinforced construction and cover. However, don't stay there longer than necessary. Once an EMP is detected, time is of the essence, and widespread panic will quickly follow. You'll have, at most, 30 minutes to an hour before chaos ensues. You must make decisions swiftly during this critical period to ensure your survival. Consider the immediate aftermath of an EMP. The initial electromagnetic pulse will disable all electronic devices within its range, plunging entire cities into darkness. Traffic lights will cease functioning, vehicles will stop moving, and communication networks will be completely disrupted. In the United States, an EMP could impact millions of people instantly, triggering a chain reaction of catastrophic consequences. Hospitals dependent on electronic systems for everything from patient records to life support machines will be incapacitated. Emergency services will be overwhelmed, struggling to coordinate and respond effectively to many crises unfolding. Let's explore some numbers to understand the magnitude of this potential disaster. The United States has over 6,000 hospitals, many regularly operating at or near full capacity. Just imagine the chaos if these hospitals suddenly couldn't function. In the event of an EMP, the electrical grid that supports nearly 331 million Americans would collapse. According to the Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA, restoring power to critical infrastructure could take weeks or even months. During this period, the absence of electricity would lead to disruptions in water supply systems, food distribution networks, and sanitation services. The immediate human toll could be devastating. In the first 24 hours alone, we might witness thousands of deaths due to accidents caused by malfunctioning traffic systems, failures of medical equipment, and a breakdown in law and order, and that's just the short-term impact. The Department of Homeland Security has warned that a significant EMP event could result in the deaths of up to 90% of the U.S. population within a year due to starvation, disease, and societal breakdown. It's a grim and chilling prospect. The threat is even more ominous for those residing in or near major cities. Cities such as New York, Los Angeles, and Chicago are not only densely populated, but also potential targets for nuclear strikes. Their high population density and critical infrastructure make them particularly vulnerable in an EMP scenario. If you live in or near one of these cities, your level of risk is considerably higher, and the need for prompt and decisive action cannot be overstated. Number four, have a specific plan for you and everyone around. I understand how serious the situation is for you. You're torn between rushing home quickly and facing the frightening possibility of dangers everywhere. The fear of being vaporized or trapped under debris is very real, and these are concerns that everyone in America must deal with. If you live in a big city or near a sensitive area, consider moving elsewhere, but I know that's impossible for everyone for personal or financial reasons. Staying aware of what's going on around the world is important. Pay attention to what's happening with Russia and NATO, China and Taiwan, and the Middle East. The world situation is tense, and things could easily get worse. If there's an electromagnetic pulse, EMP attack, it's important to realize it's not just a small problem with technology, it's a clear act of war. An EMP could immediately shut down our country's power grid, confusing us. To understand the gravity of the situation, consider this. According to the Congressional EMP Commission, within a year of an EMP attack, as many as 90% of Americans could die from hunger, disease, and societal breakdown. This alarming statistic highlights how serious the threat is. The loss of electricity would devastate our ability to communicate, travel, and sustain ourselves, pushing us into a chaotic and grim future. In the immediate aftermath of an EMP, cash is unlikely to be helpful. Most stores will close once their computer systems fail. Even if a small shop accepts cash and remains open briefly, it won't last. The realization of the disaster will trigger widespread panic. People will rush to buy essentials and resort to looting quickly emptying shelves and escalating tensions to dangerous levels. It's crucial to have a plan for every member of your family. Every adult and older child should know the signs of an EMP and what to do if one happens. This includes how to quietly leave their current place, 
whether it's work or school, and where to meet the rest of the family. You don't want your family separated and at risk during a crisis. Consider how you'll pick up younger children, who will care for them, and where will you go afterward. These are important details to figure out beforehand. An EMP attack isn't the time to figure things out as you go. A clear practice plan could be the difference between life and death. Number five, handle possible fires. Next, you should prepare for potential fires. Once you're back home, it's important to be ready to handle any fires that may start. Imagine stepping inside your house after a long day, expecting comfort and security, only to face a threat many Americans aren't ready for an electromagnetic pulse. The power lines that run through our neighborhoods and cities would act like giant antennas, absorbing enormous amounts of energy from an EMP. This isn't just a scenario from science fiction, it's a real possibility we must be ready to confront. Our everyday infrastructure isn't built to withstand the massive power surge that an EMP could unleash. Think about the small transformers on utility poles and the larger ones at substations. These are crucial parts of our electrical grid and would be among the first to fail in an EMP event. These transformers would be destroyed, essential for reducing high voltage electricity to levels safe for our homes. This isn't speculation, it's highly likely. Even the devices connected to our home electrical systems are at risk, likely to overload and fail when confronted with such a surge. Looking back at history gives us a stark perspective. The Carrington event, 1859, one of the most powerful solar storms recorded, illustrates this well. During this event, a massive solar flare caused an EMP strong enough to ignite telegraph wires, sparking numerous wildfires. Telegraph systems, the cutting edge technology of that time, were devastated. Operators were shocked at their stations, experiencing firsthand the destructive force of an EMP. In our modern era, it's alarming to consider that our advanced and interconnected electrical infrastructure could suffer similar, if not worse, damage. Imagine if such an event occurred during summer, particularly in regions already prone to wildfires. Take the west coast of the United States, where devastating wildfires are frequent, destroying communities and natural landscapes. An EMP-induced blackout could significantly worsen these situations. Without electricity, crucial systems like water pumps, communication networks, and emergency response units would be hindered. This would hinder firefighting efforts, potentially leading to uncontrollable fires that consume homes, businesses, and forests. The statistics highlight a significant threat. According to NASA, there is a 12% chance of a Carrington-class solar storm hitting Earth in the next decade. This probability is not trivial. In perspective, it's like rolling a pair of dice and getting a double six, a possible scenario within our lifetimes. Such an event could plunge millions into darkness and chaos, requiring weeks or months to restore normalcy. Furthermore, the economic impact would be immense. A study by the National Academy of Sciences suggests that a severe geomagnetic storm could cost up to $2 trillion in the first year alone, with recovery potentially stretching over a decade. This wouldn't just be a disaster in terms of immediate damage, but could also severely impact long-term economic stability and growth. Number six, don't remove protected electronics. Finally, avoid removing protected electronics from Faraday cages. It's essential to ensure that everything remains safe from potential electromagnetic pulse, EMP, attacks. These threats are not science fiction. They are real and pose a serious risk to our electronically dependent society. We must take all necessary precautions to protect our vital electronics from the devastating effects of an EMP. Imagine a high-altitude EMP attack over the United States. The initial pulse could knock out power grids, communication networks, and any unprotected electronic devices within its range. This means your smartphone, laptop, and even your car could be rendered useless instantly. The situation is dire because an EMP attack could be followed by additional pulses, further ensuring the destruction of unshielded electronics. This is why keeping your protected electronics secure in Faraday cages or bags at all times is crucial. The temptation to remove them, even briefly, could result in losing everything you've worked so hard to protect. Consider this. Studies have shown that a single high-altitude EMP burst could affect an area as large as the continental United States. The potential for chaos and disruption is enormous. In the event of an EMP attack, maintaining communication will be critical. I recommend having a sacrificial radio that you keep protected separately from other essential devices. For example, I have a small hand radio in my Faraday bag that can monitor ham, FM, and NOAA weather frequencies. This allows me to gather crucial information from any surviving sources without risking damage to other essential devices, such as my solar generator. 
Radios like this are relatively inexpensive, costing around $25 each, making it practical to buy multiple units for redundancy. Why is this so important? Let's look at some sobering statistics to understand. The Commission to Assess the Threat to the United States from Electromagnetic Pulse EMP attack, has warned that an EMP attack could lead to the death of up to 90% of the U.S. population within a year. This would happen because critical infrastructure would collapse. Power grids, water supply systems, food distribution networks, and medical services would all fail. Surviving would become much harder without the ability to communicate or access information. While protecting your devices is crucial, some unprotected ones might survive an EMP attack. It's worth checking these devices. Some might still work or have usable parts. The same goes for vehicles, especially those stored in enclosed metal garages. If your vehicle survives an EMP, it becomes a valuable asset. However, use it only when necessary. Using a functioning vehicle after an EMP can attract unwanted attention and put you at risk from desperate, unprepared people. The potential aftermath of an EMP attack is terrifying. There would be widespread confusion in the first few hours as people realize their electronic devices no longer work. Within days, food and water supplies would run out because modern supply chains rely heavily on electronic systems. Hospitals would be overwhelmed, unable to provide care without power or communication. Emergency services would be destroyed, unable to coordinate efforts effectively. As days turn into weeks and months, the lack of essential services would lead to a breakdown in social order, with communities struggling to survive. Given the severity of these potential outcomes, taking every possible precaution to protect your electronics is crucial. Ensure that your Faraday cages and bags are in good condition and used correctly. Do not remove your protected devices unless necessary. Having a sacrificial radio to gather information is a smart strategy, as it minimizes the risk to your more critical electronics. Remember, a $25 investment in a hand radio could be the difference between staying informed and being completely in the dark. As we conclude, it's vital to grasp the immense gravity of an EMP event and its potential impact on our lives. The consequences are not just hypothetical, they are real and terrifying. According to a report by the Congressional EMP Commission, an EMP attack could result in the loss of 90% of the U.S. population within a year due to the collapse of critical infrastructure. These numbers are staggering and highlight the urgent need for preparation. Imagine a world where 75% of the power grid is destroyed instantly. Transportation, communication, and essential supplies like food and water would be severely impacted. Hospitals and emergency services would be overwhelmed if they were operational at all. According to the U.S. Department of Homeland Security, a high-altitude EMP could disrupt power for over 300 million people, plunging them into darkness and chaos. Preparation is not just advisable, it's essential for survival. Begin by creating a comprehensive emergency plan. This should include a designated meeting place, a reliable communication strategy, and a well-stocked emergency supply kit with enough food, water, and medical supplies for at least three months. The Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA, recommends at least one gallon of water per person daily. This amounts to 120 gallons for three months for a family of four. Consider investing in alternative communication methods like ham radios. With over 750,000 licensed ham radio operators in the U.S., according to the American Radio Relay League, these devices can operate independently of the grid. They could be crucial when traditional networks fail. Building a community network is also crucial. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, says communities working together in a crisis have higher survival rates. Build trust and cooperation with your neighbors now to share resources and support each other during an emergency. Learning basic survival skills is essential. The Survivalist Guide suggests that knowing how to purify water, start a fire, administer first aid, and defend your home could be the difference between life and death. Many resources from books to online courses can teach these important skills. An EMP event can also have a severe psychological impact. The National Center for PTSD reports that up to 30% of people exposed to a major disaster may develop PTSD. Practice stress relief techniques, stay connected with loved ones, and maintain normalcy to protect your mental health. Stay informed about global events and advancements in EMP technology and protection measures. Awareness and preparation can give you a critical edge in such a catastrophic event. Thank you for watching and for taking this important step towards being prepared. The danger is real, but when you equip yourself with knowledge and tools, you're better prepared to confront it directly. And this video is meant to guide you on what to do when an EMP happens. 
So share this video with everyone you know so that they can be equipped with adequate information. Talk to you later. Until we meet again, take care and remain watchful.